Amazine, you bastard! You freaking bastard! Hello and good day guys. Hope you guys are all doing well. Celeviathan here, back with another reaction today. Today we're continuing up Dragon Age Absolution and we're on episode 4. And honestly man, this whole show is just a big, like, it's just always like, turned up to like 11 you know what i mean last episode was definitely an example of that um you know the whole failure for the circulum infinitus thing thanks to fairbanks caused a lot of issues man with the security system kind of creating a bunch of these undead hordes just attacking everybody right friend and foe <laughs> like lacking and rolling trying to hold things down while miriam was trying to save Safira, and it, it was getting pretty crazy you know there was even like a like mini bosses you know even some bigger undead hordes and even a dragon like a stone dragon which didn't really play much of a part rather than just being menacingly and stuff but i definitely hope, think that it's gonna play a part at some point anyway um you know we had quitty and trying to run away and like survive as well too and ultimately you know they all finally regroup and unfortunately you know miriam she loses safira as well too damn miriam and safira Seems as though they're not going to be able to get that farm that they've always wanted. But I'm not counting out their love yet. I'm not counting it out yet. Um, and it turns out now they wanted to escape and their tunnel got overrun by Tevinter guards. And now Amazine is here. And he called Miriam his sister. So not sure what's going to happen with that one. But we're not going to waste any time. Let's get started with this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And, man, consider dropping down a comment for, like, your thoughts on this reaction, man. I'd love to hear you guys' um, opinions on this show. It does have definitely some mixed opinions, but I've been enjoying it, so I really don't care. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get started with Dragon Age Absolution Episode 4, Those Who Falsely Dream. Let's go. Stay back! No one's going to hurt you. You're with me now. With your family. <laughs> My family to fence a snake! Come on! He's... Oh no! Freaking Neb here trying to attack Miriam! I haven't seen N never er, er, impressing me right now. He's taking all three of these guys on. He's so skilled! I thought Quidian would be able to hold her own against him, but she was no match either! Wait! Corpse to puppet, huh? Oh, that's not even a real person! I knew there was something off with Neb! I'm a seeing you bastard! Sister. You freaking Wait. bastard! Wait. I'm trying to fix your mistake. I'm trying to bring him back. No! Miriam thinks that Amacine is the one who killed everybody, and Amethine thinks that Miriam is the one who killed everybody. So what's really going on here? Come on, let's go. I'm getting really invested in this whole Amacine Miriam story. I really am. Hey, at least they got away. <coughs> at least. I ordered you to stay in the Divine's apartments. I had everything under control. Does this look like under control to you? Not at all. Commander, the Circulum is gone. We surmised that already. And we recovered a prisoner. The thieves left one of their own behind. <sighs> Get the thief in a cell and redirect anyone not fighting the dead down to the vault. Leave the dragon to the Magister. Yes, ma'am. Who were they? The thieves. How should I know? Don't play stupid. That elf had your name on her cheek. When she means her, her name on her cheek, cheek, does that mean that's like Amacine's branding? 
branding or something? Like from the Amazine family? She was to be my personal spy, assassin, whatever was needed. But she raised us as siblings. Now Miriam's the only family I have left. Then why was she trying to kill you? We didn't part on good terms. No. Blood magic is not the answer. I'm not slaughtering the innocent. I just need to contact Miriam. Please. She's my sister. If I find any evidence of blood magic, any at all, I will report you to the Divine. Understand? I won't disappoint you. You already have. Damn, that's so sad. They're really working hard trying to find these thieves. It's gonna be hard to leave to Vinter. How are you holding up? I'll scout ahead. Make sure the way to the safe house is clear. Roland, I'm telling you, there's got to be a traitor. Look, I saw what I saw, Rolls. Well, then what's your theory? That Miriam lured us into stealing an artifact she didn't know existed to help a man she spent her life running from and got herself shot in the back to sell it? You're focusing on the wrong people, like Lachlan. What's going on. Wrong people. But my gut says we're missing something here. You are, though. He is, he is smart, though. He is right now. But at least they have the circular. Have at least. To get out before we learn what that is the hard way. Ouch. Duh. You were supposed uh. to wait. Whatever you decide, I won't blame you. All I ask is that you don't leave yet. The city's on lockdown, and you'll never get past the guards. In broad daylight, I can't lose you too. You won't. I wonder who Fairbanks's contact was. Who is Fairbanks really trying to go to? This guy is extremely powerful. He was able to turn it back into stone. Now. That doesn't look like a mere locator spell. No, it does not. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm nearly there, and got it. Any time, Quidium. Someone's using blood magic to keep her from healing, to keep her under. I think he's trying to keep her under so that he can invade her mind easily. Just stunning. So that he he can kind of talk to her. You know. The sunset's fine, too. <laughs> I'd never leave you, Miri. You're everything to me. Hera? Hera? No one can save you from what you are, Miriam. In the end, you'll only ever be a two. Does that sound like somebody who you think of as a sister? You mentally manipulate her like this to try to get her on your end? Miriam, wait. Come on. Nah, there's something. Nah, no, fuck this Amazine guy. No. How? Blood magic can make a lot of things possible. I needed to speak with you, and this was the only way. I have nothing to say to you. You know, there was a time when you trusted me. You were happy. I was trapped. Yeah, we were man. all trapped. But at least we were together. You were not in the same situation as that. She was getting beaten down every day. I needed to keep his body going. Binding a demon to it was the only option I had. But I don't want Ned to be like this either. The circulum can bring people back from the dead, Miriam, just as they were in life. But I can't use it without you. Not only did she lose her brother, she lost her twin. Do you know how hard of a connection that is to sever? 
I'm glad she's showing him this in memory. We were never equal. I was a child. I couldn't even protect myself. Were you helpless here too? Oh, she's showing us this more. Is a waste of time. You're dying, Miriam. You're the one who wanted to rifle through old memories. <laughs> no! Fight it, boy! No Amazine has failed a harrowing in 300 years! Oh my god! That's what happened? You killed them both. I had to. I know. Run! I lied for you, Miriam. Made it so the Templars would never find you. Because you were right. I couldn't protect you. Ever since you left, I've been rebuilding. Trying to make things right again. Okay. I'm still not convinced, guys. I'm sorry, I'm not. No. You don't have to keep running, Miriam. Not from the past, not from Mother. Not from yourself. And together, the three of us can make Tevinter a better place for everyone. That's a foolish dream, though. You can't bring Neb back no matter how hard no. you try. That's good. What? No. I said no. Whatever your intentions, I will never be a slave again. Have you really ever been anything else? <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? You had no home, no family. Without direction, you wandered the world completely lost. <laughs> you contributed Disgusting. nothing but misery and achieved nothing at all. You were less than a slave, Miriam. Is that what you call your family, dude? Is that what you call a sister? I'm offering you purpose. <laughs> and all you can think about are your own petty desires. I love that conviction, man. I love it, man. I'd rather die than be a tool for somebody else. She hated that part of her life. And she'll never be a tool again. This Amacene guy trying to manipulate. But he's not going to get me. He won't. Never trust this guy, ever. You live because I will it. I don't want to hurt you. But if you won't listen to reason... I will speak in a language you can understand. You live because I will it? Who the hell does this guy think he is? Give me the circulum, and I will give you the woman you so irrationally desire. Run, and I will have her killed. Bastard! I did promise to take care of you, didn't I? Bring me the circulum, and I will prove how wrong you are about everything. Damn, yo, she had to like spit up the blood too so the, the spell would be broken. Okay, breathe. Breathe with me. Miriam, what happened? Hear us alive. They can't leave yet. They can't. They gotta go save Safira. I'm sorry. I'm yep. I knew it. They can't leave yet. They still got work at the winter. They really do. Okay, guys. Dragon Age Absolution Episode 4. It's definitely picking up. We finally got to see um, the whole uh, situation between Amacene and... Um, and uh, Miriam over here. Amacene, he, he tries to act like he's a good guy, like he cares about people. He's like, you're my sister, you, I, I love you, blah, blah, blah. You know, we grew up together, but like, but at the same time, there's always this undertone of like, of like, um, 
you know, like a sinister undertone of him. You know, he's like, the lady Tasia keeps warning him. She's like, stop messing with things you don't understand. Don't perform blood magic. Me leave the circle. I'm like, these are things that we shouldn't be, like, messing with. But he keeps doing it. Like, him kind of going to Miriam's head, we learn a lot more of their past. Him and Amacene, her and Amacene, you know, like, how, how, they, how they grew up together, how she was a slave. Um... How her brother and him were slaves and how what happened in, in the harrowing and how that her the mother used used um, her brother's body as like a conduit to like allow the, the boy to live right so she ends up killing them blah 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 and Amacene just lets her escape so they try to make it seem like Amacene's a good guy a lot like they keep making it like he's a nice guy but I can't could not trust him I can't ultimately you just feel like he has a bigger goal in mind and it turns out he did right Miriam straight up said I will never be a tool for anybody ever again now that we found out that Saphir is still alive and was captured actually by the Tevinter Imperium now we are actually gonna go out and save her so I'm glad for that man because Miriam Miriam needs a little bit of hope and that's her hope right there anyway I'll see you guys around take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day bye bye